Hey guys! So in today's video I'm going to be talking about how to achieve a H1 in physics in the Leaving Cert. I also think that the physics course in Ireland for the Leaving Cert is very similar to the physics course for A-levels in the UK. So now don't quote me on that but I think they're fairly similar so that might help some people from the UK too, I'm not really sure. But yeah, I've made videos on how to get a H1 in biology, how to get a H1 in chemistry, maths, um, and everyone's been asking for physics. Now, I could be too late and it could have been the six years that just, just done their leaving are asking for it. But I'm going to make it now because I really didn't think people would want to see this because there's not usually a lot of people who study physics. But I'm going to do it anyway because you guys seem to absolutely love my other videos on how to get a H1 in a certain subject. So this is the last subject that I got a H1 in, so it's the last video I can make. Thank you so much to Exam Revision for sponsoring today's video, uh, but more on that later. And let's get straight into the video. Okay, so starting off, a lot of people don't know if physics is a good choice for if you're good at maths, if you're not good at maths. I personally was really bad at maths at the start of fifth year, but I worked my way up to a H1 in sixth year. And throughout the two years of fifth and sixth year, I was fairly consistent with physics. So that just shows that you can be good at physics whether you are good at maths or not good at maths. Personally, I was really, really terrible at mechanics and physics. And I was very fortunate that I was able to leave mechanics out for my leaving cert. Because of COVID and all the exam changes, I was able to actually leave mechanics out completely personally and focus on everything else because I've tried so hard to be good at mechanics but it just doesn't come naturally to me. So instead my main topics that I focused on were electricity, heat and optics. Now I don't know now that the leaving cert is like back to normal, I don't know if that will be possible for anyone. but. If you do struggle with mechanics, just try to do as least questions as you can on the topic. And focus on all the questions that you know you'll be able to answer, whether that be with optics, heat, electricity. Well, realistically, if you can't do mechanics, you really need to focus and be absolutely brilliant at those other three topics. The experiment questions are the easiest marks to pick up on the paper. Absolutely the easiest marks. I know there is a lot of experiments, but if you do an exam question on every single experiment, the exam question will be the exact same. Although there is so many, the exam question for each individual experiment doesn't usually change that much. If you So if you can like knock those out, even if you don't have a clue what you're saying and you memorize those answers, for every single experiment, you are guaranteed those marks. And I don't understand when people leave experiments at the last minute or just, you know, write what they know because you have to be able to write those answers that will get the marks. Even though you might know what you're talking about, if you're not saying specific things, you won't get the marks from the examiners. So please focus on your experiments. They are so important. Just like chemistry, some of the answers can be so straightforward if you know what you're talking about. Just like I was talking about exam questions with experiments, the honestly the best way to study physics for me personally and how I got my H1 is I did literally hundreds upon hundreds of exam questions. I would start off with the topic by writing notes, okay? I would write notes on every single topic. Mechanics, I tried my best, but honestly, at the end of the day, I dumped mechanics and I just had no interest. But I wrote notes on everything. If you are interested, I do still have my physics binders from the Leaving Cert. If anyone is interested in buying them, I have two big binders full of all my notes and all my exam questions. Send me a DM on Instagram because I have sold my maths, my biology and my chemistry notes. But if anyone's interested in buying these, I'm not even just saying that, but they are filled with so much information. Basically, what I was saying is I would write notes on every single topic. Personally, I'm more of like a visual learner, so writing notes, like really pretty and like colour them in, obviously not spending that much time on them, but making them look really nice and aesthetic would help me learn a lot. Instead of just sitting down and like reading the book, writing the notes, like actually like writing them and reading what I'm writing as I write it, just, I don't know, it goes into my brain. And I don't know if many people are like that, but personally, that was a the best way that I could have learned. Even if I would write a couple of pages of notes, throw them out, rewrite them, I, like the, the information was in my head. Like I would just write so much notes on literally everything. <laughs> And all of the notes would really be centered around exam questions. Like I wouldn't be using the book as much. I would be sort of going to a topic, finding the exam questions and having them up on my screen. And then on my notes, I'd be writing down all the information that the exam questions are asking you for, because that's all they're asking you. You don't need all this additional information because physics books nowadays are just filled with so much crap. So use the exam questions to write your own notes. Or if your teacher's giving you notes, use those notes 
to write your own notes because I'm sure hopefully your teacher is focusing around the exam questions. But yeah, as I said, so I would write the notes and then I would go and do exam papers after exam papers after exam papers, like from maybe 2002 back. I would choose one topic like modern physics or like the electron or something like that. And I would do every single exam question that has ever come up on that topic since like 2002. Because then I know if I can answer all of those questions, I am guaranteed to pretty much get 100% in that question in the exam. Obviously some years there's some random bits and pieces thrown in and you won't know the answer to. That's natural, wouldn't worry about it. It'll come up every year, there'll be something you don't know. But 90% of the time, if you could do all the exam questions and are confident in them all, you will be fine. You have to use the resources you have around you because at some point when I was struggling with physics, especially in mechanics as I was saying, and a lot of people in my physics class were quite intelligent and knew what they were doing, especially in mechanics, which was the opposite to me, I honestly didn't know what to do. Ask the teacher all the questions you can. I know personally, and I think a lot of people can relate, chemistry and physics teachers absolutely love you when you ask them questions. Like they, you would ask them the most random thing and they will be happy to answer. Understanding the topics is so much more important than you think. There's no point in just learning off loads of material. It just isn't gonna work because you won't have a clue in your head and like if a question is asked differently than what you're expecting it, you won't know how to answer it. So you need to understand so you can explain everything in your own words. In today's video, I've partnered with Exam Revision, which is an absolutely amazing company for all of your Leaving Cert needs and if you're struggling in any subject. It is basically a website full of a ton of Leaving Cert and Junior Cert subjects with videos, quizzes, H1 standard notes, exam questions, PowerPoint presentations if you're into that, and you can track basically all of your progress as you go through the course. They have little bite-sized videos for literally every single topic on the courses. Just like for physics, it's not just part of the course covered. If you're struggling with mechanics alone, they will have videos in all of mechanics, all heat, optics, electricity, everything you could want. And it's just like that for every other subject that they offer. All the videos who make the tutorials and videos and notes are all like state examiners, so you can trust that they really want to provide you with the best information and are all exam focused. As well, all the exam papers are broken down into each separate topic. So just like I was saying, you can go back and do all the exam questions on one topic and you're set to go. And when you compare exam revision to the typical price of like a grind, which is usually 50, 60 euro an hour, you were getting much more value for money. So definitely go and check out Exam Revision with the link in my bio and use the code LNC20 for 20% off your order. Thank you so much to Exam Revision for sponsoring today's video. So the last thing I'm going to talk about in relation to physics is some of the topics that people don't really touch on and some teachers actually leave out, which I just don't think is a good idea at all. Particle physics, nuclear physics and circular motion are, I think, some of the best questions. Usually you will have one of these questions at least every single year, and they're all very, very repetitive. The topic is also quite small, so if you can learn off the topic and know how to do the couple of exam questions that are in the past on them, you're pretty set. And they're also really enjoyable topics to learn. So if your teacher is leaving out some of these topics, which I know a lot do, I would definitely consider doing them in your own time because especially if you're not as good at one topic, just like me with mechanics, knowing these other topics will give you like a broader range of questions that you might be able to answer on the paper. So yeah, that is the end of my video, guys. I really hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the like button and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye.